Before we begin, I want to ask you guys, if you looked at the art right now, who would you think is the AI art done on? Just, just wondering. And I do not blame you if you don't see it, because I'll be honest, I don't see it either. Is it Dual Robin? Robin by himself, male Robin? Emerin? Lissa? Do you see it? Who do you think it is? Let's read through all these things and go over it. This is Haragi Akio, young Robin's artist, and they're responding to AI accusations. So using DeepL translation, I have not used any generated AI in any of my published illustrations, whether commercial, private commissions, or hobby pictures. I leave all rough drafts, color roughs, etc. I use image materials appropriately in accordance with the terms of use. I accept your comments about my immaturity of my drawings. So for those who don't understand, people have been putting this forward on him that he used AI to assist him in making his art. This, they're saying this was AI generated or AI assisted. Really? And here's the worst part. I'm unable to find any proof of it. Like I've read so many people give their opinions on this, but no one has come forward with proof, definitive proof showing this is AI generated. I haven't seen it at all. Like maybe the art isn't that good in some people's opinions. Maybe it does look like something that an AI would make, but if you're not gonna prove it, how could you even say these things? In fact, what is more insulting to an artist that your art is bad or that your art is AI generated? It's already terrible to go along this train of thought to begin with because they're just crapping on their work. But from the other perspective, if people actually believe this, you're absolutely damaging his livelihood. And the scariest part is like most companies don't give you a second chance and they don't want controversy. So if Nintendo's like, oh, this guy might have used AI art, you think he's gonna be hired again? No. No, companies don't want to deal with any drama. They just want to be done with it. They just want to get their portion of the benefits and you're on your own. So yeah, it's been terrible. I feel terrible for this dude to go through all this. Anyways, from what we read thus far, it looks like he does have proof. He says, I leave all rough drafts, color roughs, etc., And I use image materials appropriately in accordance with the terms of use. And given that no one's come forward with any proof that he has used AI art, I don't think he even has to prove it. Imagine the moment someone just says, that's AI art, and you have to go through all your personal details and release proof. Like, that would be insane. Yet, I think that's the kind of things people have to do nowadays, because that's the only way to clearly beat allegations. This is his actual post on Twitter. He said a lot more. If I had used it, my tendonitis wouldn't have come back. Yeah, I'm glad he has good humor about this. Artists have to work really hard really, really hard. A lot of people just see the piece of art they made, but they don't understand how much work they had to put in to even get to that point to make that one piece of art. So yeah, I don't doubt it. A lot of artists have tendonitis. They grinded. Sorry, this is the end of the topic. Almost all the parts that people are wondering if they were generated by AI were actually drawn in the initial composition and color roughs. I didn't use any materials. I just drew them myself because I thought the silhouette color shadows were good. For reference, this is the official art for these characters. This is from all the way back from 2012. Why would he even use AI generation? It doesn't make any sense. He literally has reference art to base his art off of, and that's what he did. That's why they look so like these characters because they're referenced. It literally makes no sense for these to be AI generated because AI actually does not use reference art very well. You would have to do it all yourself anyways. There's very little merit to this. Let's quickly take a look at the art in question, the hand. So it's well understood that AI is not very good at drawing hands, but that's it. This is enough for people to come at them for allegations of AI usage. I mean, it's not the best hand, that's for sure. Do you guys see it? I'll be honest with you guys, I don't see it. I think the hand is turned a bit, which is why it's like hiding the knuckle. But outside of that, Rebecca doesn't have a bowstring. It must be AI. <laughs> so here's the thing. There's over a thousand heroes in this game at this point. Artists make mistakes and whoever's approving these on IS's side, they're approving them. So they're not catching them either. From my perspective, some art styles are just less detailed than others. And so, yeah, maybe this is missing a knuckle. But if that way the hand is turned, that's passable. My biggest issue of all this is even if it is AI assisted, I wouldn't even take a big deal out of it personally. Because in our daily lives, in all the things we do, we're AI assisted in almost everything at this point. If you're on YouTube and the videos are recommended to you, guess what? That's AI generated. It's an algorithm telling you this is what we think you would like to watch. If you're shopping for something, ads show up, they are AI generated as well. If you're at work, don't you use AI? Like when I work as when I'm editing a video, yeah, I mean, AI will help me figure out B-roll, cut silences out because it's an algorithm. It just figures these things out. Like, I don't see the issue personally, even if it was AI assisted. So as a whole, I don't like any of this. It doesn't make any sense to me. But in this guy's defense, he even said, hey, I have the references. Let's just sum it up. 
I think every artist has a style and some styles look more AI generated than others. And given how AI generation is based off of styles of various different styles, and some can be trained on specific artists to look even more like an artist. I don't think that's a good excuse because if you can't say for certain they're using AI generated art, why are you going after them? That doesn't make any sense to me. You cannot jeopardize a person's career just because you think it might be something. I know there's people on Twitter who are absolute nut jobs who are willing to sacrifice 5, 10, 20 people's careers just to catch one perp. But those are people's livelihoods, their dreams. They put their life into these things to become an artist. And so you can just freely slander them? I don't think so. So it looks like all the proof, quote unquote proof, has been deleted. And just basing off of the art we see in the game itself, I don't see it personally. And even if it was AI assisted, I don't even see the issue of that either. At the end of the day, if the artist still has to put in a significant amount of work, which if someone used AI generation to just get a reference image or an image or idea or like a different perspective of something, let me ask you guys that. Is that wrong? Is that terrible? Like, is that worth someone losing their job over? The answer should be obviously no. Here, I'll make an admission to you guys. When I make a title for a video, sometimes I use ChatGPT and I use it to give me ideas. I don't actually go with what it gives me, but I use it for ideas. Sometimes when you're writing a message for someone like that, it has to be pretty good on, right? You use these tools to get an idea. Honestly, don't see the issue with it. It's 2024. This is how the world is going to be. If people really can't get off the times, I really don't know what to say. I think the only times where I would have an issue of AI art is if the entire thing was AI generated and they submitted it. That's problematic. Absolutely. But yeah, we're not even at that point because it's, I don't, okay, again, to begin with, I don't even think this is AI assisted, but even if it were, I would have taken no issues with it. I think if you push this dude, he will give you the rough drafts and sketches, in which case then congratulations, he's completely proven his point. But again, I don't think you should be able to harass and force artists to release their drafts just because some random person on the internet believes and thinks you use AI. Anyways, quickly going through the art. No, no, I don't see it. I really don't see it, man. If AI actually made four pieces of art this good, uh, I don't know where that AI is coming from. That's like a masterpiece AI algorithm right there. AI is notoriously bad at making consistent art. And again, I don't even think this is AI assisted. So yeah, I honestly don't see this shit. All right. Okay. Well, whoever made these allegations should have used this. Yeah. There are several programs out there nowadays that check an image to see if it is likely made by human being or AI. Thank you, Kusanagi, for verifying this. The AI or not report says it's likely made by a human. I do want to call out the guy who made these allegations. Nobody knows who this is. Who is he? Where did he go? All he had to do was delete his tweets and that's it. He gets off scot-free. There's no punishment for going after people on the internet, is there? That stuff pisses me the hell off. You can't even be bothered to do the background research. You make some baseless claims and then you delete it when it looks like, oh, it's not gonna work. People don't believe me. Oh no, it's so cowardly, man. I was wondering earlier, like how come I can't find any proof at all? I thought people talked about proof. Ah, that's because this guy deleted it and now no one knows who he is and he gets away scot-free. Isn't this world wonderful? You can threaten someone's dreams and career, and the moment it doesn't go well for you, just delete it. If you don't like the resulting image, or think it's poorly done, or looks like you've cut corners, and I apologize for my lack of ability, but the fact is that no generative AI was used. In any case, it is true that I am still inexperienced. I will take this as a good opportunity and work hard. End of story. And Akio's taking the high road. Good on him. But F that other guy, that coward. He didn't do a good enough job in certain areas, and so people made these allegations. But so what? So what? Even if you are the best artist in the world, you will not be 100% on every piece of art. Like sometimes you do a good job, sometimes you don't. It goes so high, it goes so low. Also, one more. I've tried out a variety of different styles of drawing for hair, hands, accessories, and painting. I can explain why I drew it that way, what layers I layered, and in what order, and I can recreate it with my own hands any number of times. We have many exchanges of communication with client, from composition rough to color rough, an intermediate draft, a first draft, and finally a final draft. So the process of the painting being completed is recorded in detail and checked by multiple people. That sounds right to me. I've never known of, uh, of any piece of art being passed through on one pass. It's always multiple passes. This was a okay by management. There's at least one person at IS who a okayed this. We're not done though. There's another one. This one, analysis. Young Lissa's artwork is quite likely AI assisted. Weird strong lights and shadows that don't follow the main light source. What's going on here? The main light source is here, top right, 
All right, peeps, do you see it? So while it is true that AI art is really bad of lighting, I'm going to tell you right now, I see artists all the time make errors in lighting. How do I know this? If you go on my YouTube channel and you go to live, you're going to see a ton of art being used in thumbnails. Some of them are very inconsistent with their lightning. I know this because I've gone through hundreds of images to make thumbnails. I'm not really sure lighting is enough to prove anything. In fact, I'm going to go out on a whim and say, no, I don't think lighting proves anything. Artists make this mistake a lot. Should they make it? No, they should be consistent. They should be good with it. But man, the lighting. OK, so light bouncing off the head and then the light on the skirt. So this is the idea here. I'm sorry, that's just such a stretch. The artist is very consistent on the lighting beyond from the top right corner. I can agree with that. But there's a bit of shine on her arm and on her um, shoulder. There's either two sources of lighting or they really believe it should be a singular source. Unusual thick lines that didn't appear in the artist's previous work. What? <laughs> okay. That's a very strange comment to make. Yes, artists do have a style, but just because they use heavier lines doesn't mean it's AI generated. I can't believe that's even an allegation being made. That's not even remotely definitive in any way. I mean, yeah, artists have preferences, but okay. That looks like it's shadowing to me instead of line work, but okay. And finally, the structure of her hair is inconsistent and very messy. As this person seen Lissa, Lissa's hair is very messy. It is very inconsistent. I don't want to point this out. If you look at my hair, uh, there are some places where it is inconsistent and very messy and doesn't make sense. I won't point it out to you, but uh, that stuff happens. This can't seriously be the proof. Okay, anyways, no. All I can really say is no. At least we got see proof and at least this isn't deleted. So I appreciate this person standing by their words instead of throwing out allegations, seeing if it sticks. If it sticks, you go full in and you farm as much public fame as you can. And if it doesn't stick, you delete it. So it's clearly not sticking, but they didn't delete it. So I appreciate them sticking by their words. That will come with repercussions, but at least you understand like, hey, that's the right thing to do. S stay by your words, because this isn't a game. This is someone's career that you're endangering. I'll be frank, I don't see it. I don't think this is AI art. It's not abnormal for artists to make mistakes. When we first got Lissa's art, I did think it was kind of weird. Sure. And this is a really low res image, so do not get mistaken by that hand looking like it doesn't have fingers. It does have fingers. This is not the full res image. I usually, if you use these, you have to upscale them, which again is done by AI. It's just so you guys know. I'm just trying to say, as someone who is a content creator, AI is being used in a lot of stuff. Anyways, I know artists is different. I'm just trying to make the point that AI is being used in a lot of people's lives on the daily. It's normal. It's only some people who take issues with some specific things like art. And again, I'm not arguing for AI to take over artists' jobs because that's not even the case here. The majority of the work, even if it were the case, but it's not, is done by a human being. It's very clear. So the argument is lighting, hair. Well, at least for this first piece of art, the lighting's consistent. You can see it coming from the top left. And so her skirt represents that. I'll be honest, I think for a lot of these artists, it's probably easier just to draw themselves than to have AI generate the base model and then them fix all the errors. Yeah, it's on the frills of the skirt. Mm, I really don't see it, man. Well, if something like the frills of a skirt, I think human error on that is gonna be pretty easy to do anyways. It'd be weird to say like there's a lighting issue and then on the majority of pieces of art, the lighting is perfectly fine. Yeah, I don't see an issue here. I'm not a professional artist. I'm just giving my personal opinion on it. OK, yeah, it's this piece of art that they took issue with in particular. There are clearly like two light sources. I think that could just be a legitimate error. There are a lot of pieces of art in Fire Heroes with a lot of legitimate errors in it. The biggest ones, for example, are like Rebecca with no bowstring. Again, that means somebody at IS passed it through and the artist missed it as well. They never fixed it. Most recently, Legendary Sheeta is getting her armor fixed because, again, management missed it and the artist missed it. That stuff happens. So if it's something like lighting, I really don't like that, uh, believing that's proof. Okay, that's Lissa's art. What more proof does this individual have? Some previous artwork from young Lissa's artists, fine thin lines, natural and logical clothing folds, and consistent hair structure. Okay, the reason I don't like this kind of argument is sometimes artists rush their work, Sometimes artists don't feel like doing their work. Sometimes they're uninspired. I think in everyone's day jobs, they can understand that they're not 100% consistent on them. And so things could be slightly different or very different even either way. Whether Young Lissa's art is AI generated or assisted, or it's just rushed art because in intelligent systems give the artists a short turnaround time. I think this is truly irresponsible and disrespectful to all Fae players and the characters we love. What? If you're not sure, don't come at people like that. 
What the heck? If you're not sure, this individual is not even saying they're certain of anything. Okay, uh, I think this individual thinks they're being very smart by covering both sides of the argument. No, you're not. All you're showing is you being irresponsible here. It's irresponsible to go home at someone like this when you're not even certain. Uh, yeah, okay, maybe you think they didn't do a good job this time. And maybe it was rushed, but okay. That's not enough to go after someone's career like that. Remember, art isn't just okayed by the artists themselves. Somebody at Intelligence Systems has to okay it as well. Wow, okay. I'm not sure if this individual realizes it, but it's very clear that Intelligence Systems does not truly care about Fire Emblem Heroes. There's a lot of complaints that players have that are unaddressed and will be unaddressed for much time to come, if not forever, because they don't really care. To put all this on the artist is just wrong. There's one more piece. The folds and shadows here are not following the structure of her dress. Ari's previous artwork, all lines and shadows are following the fold structure consistently and naturally. The lace margin design here is also quite inconsistent, but it becomes normal in the other image. Okay, I think at best you made the argument that they didn't do a good job here, that they were inconsistent with their work. This is the worst proof for AI assisted or AI made anything ever I've seen. I can't believe an actual artist is saying all these things. An action artist would easily recognize that their works are not consistent. Artists have good art and bad art. Sometimes it's way better than other pieces of art. It happens. You don't have to be an artist literally drawing to understand this. Like if you cook dinner, for example, sometimes you're like, oh man, I made this especially good tonight. If you're working at your job, like, oh man, today I'm extra productive. I'm doing extra well. How many examples in your lives can you guys think of where you were inconsistent? Sometimes you're better, sometimes you're worse. Why? My goodness. I'm starting to get the idea that people on Twitter just don't remember what it means to be human. And this is coming from me. I can't believe this person is trying to spread it to Japanese fans. Wow. I can't even pretend to understand this individual anymore. All right, here's what I think. I think they're trying to end someone's career. I don't think they actually care about this artist. I don't, I don't, nothing here looks genuine at all. To go after someone with such flimsy reasoning, are you serious? They're bringing Emerin into this as well. Oh my god. What the hell? Okay, so that entire- Okay, well, chat- Alright, we've hit that point. I, I'm so done with this. Fire Emblem Heroes community, please be better than this. Please? This isn't a game. This is the artist's livelihoods. Their dreams. They worked hard at this. If you're gonna come at them with such flimsy reasoning as just, Oh, art inconsistent. Oh, shadowing not good. Oh, hand looks kinda weird. If you don't have definitive proof, don't do this.